So how to wrap hair quickly and efficiently when you've got a lot of hair. So first of all, like you can see how much hair Tonya's got, gorgeous hair. Just take it back. This is such an easy method. I don't know why it's not taught more often because most people that I show it to love it. So just take it back into a high ponytail. Got a band there. I've got the band. <laughs> of course, I had the band on the wrong hand. <laughs> so, yeah, just a nice tight ponytail. Now, if I were doing this for real, you would go around the edges with gaffer quack or strong gel. The got to be gel is the best. Oh, but yeah, before you go ahead, you put a wig cap, a stocking top with its end cut out so it's just like a big tube you get them to put that on just like it's a headband around their neck okay Tonya yeah off you go and just leave that sitting around their neck yeah just break that back then these really big wig pins nice and strong use them to go back with the hair and just clip them down this is a really quick and easy now, as I was saying, you would gel the front of this hair to keep it even tighter. But you can see how, how well it works. And this is also the Hollywood method of doing a facelift. This is how these do facelifts. So just go around. So just go all the way around. And as you go, just scoop the hair up. You'll see you can actually use it just as a little comb. more there just a couple more around the back right up there get your um actor to lean against you as you go it makes it tighter there we are then you just take the wick slide it up over their heads and you're aiming to get the band right on the front there again it's a nice it pushes everything back so if you have got any stray hairs you can just obviously you've tried your wig on before you start so you know where you've got any partings or anything and you can work it around that then you just get some fine pins and you hook in very carefully make sure you hook in right into your pins thanks Tonya and again you go all the way around come to this side so through the wig on before you start so you know where you've got any partings or anything you can work it around that then you just get some fine pins and you hook in very carefully make sure you hook in right into your pins thanks Tonya and again you go all the way around so I'm gonna come to this side so through the nylon and into the doesn't matter if that happens do a couple more right down the back here. Sorry, Tonya, I hope that didn't That's hurt okay. too much. I felt like I was scraping your scalp a little bit there. The other good thing about this is if you do this and you've got a lot of wig changes, it tends to keep, you can rearrange how you lose the bulk. So you then just pull your ponytail out, slide it out. This is why we call it the washing machine method. So you then push your hair in, however you want to do it. Now, this is what I'm saying. If you've got, if you've got lots of wigs to put on your actor, you can change this bulk around. You can you can change where the bulk of the hair goes depending on your wig. Because it's all contained, it's malleable and very easy to do. And in the old days, if this was a facelift, this is where they would pull. They would pull and pull until they were pulling on the face. But for us, just to show you this, pop all your hair in, pull tight, Twist over, couple of pins. And there you 
have it. And you can move it round. And it's secure. Very secure. On this one there. 